now we are going to study acceleration due to gravity and variation in acceleration due to gravity due to shape of earth rotation of earth with height from earth and and with depth from earth surface and with depth variation of g with height from earth surface variation of g inside the earth surface one by one let us study variation in g first of all what is acceleration due to gravity and what is gravity gravity is simply a phenomenon to attract any object towards its center and what is acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity is the acceleration produced by the earth in a body which is falling towards earth so acceleration experienced by the falling body due to earth is known as acceleration due to gravity let us find variation in acceleration due to shape of earth because earth is not spherical it is ellipsoid flattened at the poles and bulge and bulge and bulge at the equator since polar radius is less than equatorial radius approximately equatorial radius is 21 km more than the polar radius so acceleration due to gravity g equal to gm upon r square is more at poles than at equator now let us study variation in acceleration due to gravity due to rotation of earth the earth rotates the earth rotates from west to east the earth rotates from west to east direction about its axis passing through north south pole since earth complete one revolution in 24 hours so omega equal to 2 pi upon t when earth rotates particle on the earth also rotates let m is the mass of the particle rotating at a particular time in a circle of radius small r so centripetal force experienced by the rotating particle at latitude lambda is m omega square r so component of centripetal force towards center of earth is m omega square r cos lambda since small r equal to since small r equal to capital r cos lambda so we can write mg effective equal to mg minus m omega square r cos square lambda so g effective equal to g minus omega square r cos square lambda at pole lambda is 90 degree so cos 90 degree equal to 0 so g effective is g so apparent weight mg effective will be equal to apparent weight mg effective will be equal to actual weight mg but at equator since lambda equal to 0 so mg effective will be lesser than mg actual and at and and at equator mg effective equal to mg minus m omega square r in the condition of weightlessness g effective will become zero let omega dash is the angular speed of the earth when condition of weightlessness comes into picture so we get g minus omega dash square r equal to zero so omega dash equal to under root g upon r 
सो ओमेगा डेज इक्वल टू सेवनटीन टाइम्स एंगुलर स्पीड ऑफ दर इन दैट सिचुएशन टाइम पीरियड ऑफ अर्थ टी डेज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फोर वन आवर्थ 